Hello everyone. In the previous video, we looked at how to open the Trade Republic account. And in this video, we'll be looking at what to do after you have successfully opened your account. Now open the Trade Republic account. And here you have to log in with the PIN which you have created while opening the account. Now after you have successfully logged in, you will see this dashboard. Just click on the top left corner. Here when you scroll down, you will see a list of activities which you have to perform. My first activity is stock perk. So you might have used some kind of referral link or a code to create the account. And here, if you perform certain activities, you will get some kind of share. So for me, it will be 10 euros worth of stock. When I click on the stock perk activity, I will see a process of how to get the reward. So for me, it will be 100 euros of deposit and then three investments. So three investments can be either ETFs, stocks, bonds or derivatives. We'll be looking at it after a few moments. So for now, I'll just close this window. The second option on my list is tax ID. So here I have to update my tax ID. Unfortunately, you cannot click on that. You just have to scroll a bit down and you will see taxes. Just click on that. Now click on tax overview and then click on add tax ID. Now here I have to enter my tax ID and then I have to enter the thousand euro amount which shouldn't be deducted in case of capital gains. And then when I come back to the activity list, I can see the third and the last activity which is identity verification. When I click on that, it asks me to transfer the amount so that my bank account can be verified. So I just have to transfer at least one euros. I'll simply copy this IBAN number and the BIC code and I'll transfer the amount to this account. Now after you did that, you just have to wait for the bank verification. On the dashboard on the top right corner, you can see card. So I've already created a detailed video about Trade Republic card. You can check in the description below. Now after the bank verification, you're ready to invest. Now click on browse. Here you can see stocks, cryptos, ETFs, bonds and derivatives. At first, this will be overwhelming for you, but we'll be looking into it one by one. So stocks are nothing but the companies which are listed into stock market. This is why you can see Microsoft and Apple in the stock list. Then we have crypto, which is cryptocurrency. You might have heard about Bitcoin, Ethereum. You can invest with Trade Republic into cryptocurrencies as well. Then you will find ETFs on the list. ETFs are exchange traded funds. It could be a replication of a fund or an index, or it could be a replication of gold or other commodities. Now this would sound technical, so here is an example. Suppose you went for shopping into the supermarket and you see vegetables and fruits in front of you. Now suppose you need all kind of vitamins in your body, but you are not aware of which food or vegetable provides which vitamin. So a clever thing would be to purchase a basket of each vegetable and fruit. This basket is nothing but an ETF. So here we have, for example, S&P 500. So there are 500 companies which are listed in S&P, which includes Microsoft, Apple and different types of other companies. So I won't be covering derivatives or bond in this video, but just to give you a glimpse, derivatives is nothing but a swap or an insurance of your investments. Bonds are a kind of debt which you provide to government or companies and you earn interest from them. Now after that you will see trending topics. We'll simply not go there. Instead we'll see how to start investing with Trade Republic. So I'll go to ETF and I'll choose the core S&P 5 ETF and again this is not the recommendation. I'm just demonstrating here how to invest with Trade Republic. So here you can see two options, save and buy. So save is nothing but a savings plan. Savings plan is nothing but a plan with which you can invest recurringly into an asset. And buy is when you want to purchase the ETFs or stocks. Now when you go with savings plan, you do not have to pay anything to the trade republic. But when you buy, you have to pay one euro to trade republic. So I'll simply click on savings plan. 
Now here I have to simply enter the amount and click on next. Then I have to select when do I want to invest. So there are four options. I'll click monthly for now. And here it provides me with two options. Either I can start with the beginning of the month or the middle of the month. Just bear in mind that if you select beginning of the month, then next month it will also deduct the amount in the beginning of the month and not the middle one. If you want it to be deducted in the middle one, then just select the middle of the month. Now here it will ask you to check the details and you can click on save. Now your investment journey has been started. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.